Okay. I've gotten a lot of requests of how to run your wires through the door so your wires don't get pinched up. Now, what you want to do, okay, the easy way, if you look right here, this is actually the left left hand door on the Street Beast Vicky. This applies to the Vicky, the Cabriolet, and the Coupe. Now, on the lower hinge, after you have already hung your doors, your doors are hung, you've already got your fiberglass shims glued in, okay, and everything's in place, you want to take a half inch drill, if you look real close, of course this is facing, okay, there's the bottom of the door. On the bottom corner of your lower hinge, you want to go ahead and drill a hole at an angle going down into your car. Do not put your wires in this area here on your door jam. When you shut your door, the wires are going to bind up. Now, once you, once you drill that hole, you're going you're gonna to route your wires straight down the hinge pocket, okay? And as you can, if you can visualize that, they're going to come straight down the hinge pocket. And we'll look at the door over here. And as you see, what I've done is I've actually cut a notch below the hinge right here. So the wires will go down through the door jam, okay, and they will lay in this pocket right here, all right? And here's my wires coming through the body of the vehicle. I drilled, I cut a hole out approximately uh, inch and a half, two inch, about an inch and a half diameter in case I need to run any other wires and I, I want my wires to run loose. And then I come up inside the door jam itself and I run the wires straight up through this hole right here. And if you look down in there, we're in the process of painting this car right now. So the wires are actually laying down inside there. You can't see them, but I'll have to fish hook them up. Now, once you run your wires up here, the wires are going to feed across the bottom of your hinge here and then go into your door. Now what that's going to do is that's going to give it a nice pocket here and you won't have to worry about drilling holes anywhere because you got your uh, hinge post in the way, as you can see. And when you go get your car, when you get your interior put in your car, what you'll do is you'll take your wires, run them across the bottom of the hinge, and they will fit in the pocket on the door there. And go ahead and take a wire tie and wire tie it to them and have your uh, upholstery guy make you a nice cover that will cover that so when you open the door okay your hinges won't be seen and it'll just be a nice you know cover that covers everything so that's the way that you want to uh, run your wires okay you want to route them down through the body of the car just like usual and like I said we're in the process of painting this right now so run them down on the left side you're gonna run them over here and make sure you give enough room where your wires will be up against the uh, bulkhead or the rear of the floor and then run them around so when you put your insulation down they're all tight and in the corners and repeat the process on the right hand side door if you look over there you'll see that I've done that already and you can also run your speaker wire through here okay and come up and we're putting speakers in the wall and in the back bulkhead here so all the speaker wires are run and everything will work out perfect and your wires will never get pinched and your wires will never get cut in half because the hinge or binding up in this area will cause that problem so don't drill a hole in your door jam run your wires through the door right here that's all you got to remember and that's a tech tip on your street beast vehicle from Pete over at southwestridingcustom.com or you can call me at 972-420-1293. Hope you enjoy all the videos that uh, I'm making for you and don't let nobody discourage you. It's your dream car, it's your money you spent on it, and it's your time that you're building it. Have fun.
Enjoy life. And let's go street riding.